the function f of x is a quadratic function. The graph of y equals f of x has a maximum at 1, 18, and crosses at 5, negative 14. Which of the following represents this function where the x-intercepts are represented as constants? So the thing that throws people off on this one is they don't understand what that means by represented as constants. That means you can look at the equation and automatically see what the intercepts are. And the way to see that is factored form. Which of these is in factored form? It would be C. That is factored form. So it should be C. So this one you guys can just look at and see. B is vertex form, right? 1, 18 is the vertex here. A is standard form where everything is just foiled out. And then D is sort of in between A and C, where it's started to get factored, but not fully. And what you'll see, and you can graph it to test it, I'm going to show you right now, these actual equations are all the same. They're just written in different form. So if we do negative 2x squared plus 4x, we're going to get here, 118. And then we're going to have 5, negative 14. If you do negative 2x minus 1 squared plus 18, same thing. If we do negative 2x minus 4, x plus 2, same thing. And if we do negative 2x squared minus 2x minus 8, the same thing. So this could be like an equivalent expressions question. Maybe it's a nonlinear functions question. But it's all about understanding how these different ones work, right? If they had asked for which of them represents the vertex as constants, then B would be the correct answer. If it said which of them gives like a y-intercept as a constant, then A would be the correct answer. So it is C here. And if you have any questions on why, feel free to ask. But this is just about testing if you understand the form that shows you the intercepts right off the bat.